Hello, this is Ronald van Ballenhoven, Editor-in-Chief of Lupus Science and Medicine, reporting from the EULAR Congress, the Digital Congress, the Web-based Congress, and we are now on the last day of this Congress, and still there's lots of good science being presented here, lots of interesting stuff. I was uh, particularly interested in a study presented today by Dr. Edward Vittel from the United Kingdom, who had done an additional study based on a clinical trial with obinutuzumab for lupus nephritis. And uh, as many of you know, that's an anti-CD20 that had a positive result in lupus nephritis. Rituximab, of course, uh, used for many years and tested, but uh, no a convincing clinical trial for that drug. But obinutuzumab, a newer anti-CD20 that does seem to have a more uh, clear effect and it, it did in one clinical trial. Now, Dr. Vittel showed that there are actually biomarkers for B cell depletion and for the response. And clearly, the response is dependent on very effective uh, B cell depletion. And one of those biomarkers in uh, Dr. Vittel's hands is the interferon signature, which he identifies as actually two different, slightly different signatures. And they can actually distinguish between those with the higher likelihood of response or not. And uh, interestingly, some of that overlaps also with rheumatoid arthritis. So the biomarker work is very interesting. The ambition, of course, is to come to more personalized therapies. I'm very interested in biomarkers myself. And I was also interested when not too long ago, we were able to publish in Lupus Science and Medicine a study of biomarkers. It was a study by Arians and his colleagues. And it looked at the CBCAPs test for complement activation a test that's also actually being used clinically. Of course, complement as such is already used a lot, but the erythrocyte-bound complement has become something that is um, possible in the United States, at least, for the last several years. And it seems to have very good characteristics as a biomarker uh, for lupus. And the most recent publication, which I just referred to for lupus severity, that the higher um, uh, test result would indicate a more severe disease course. So biomarkers are all the rage. They're being tested and tried. And at the EULAR Congress, certainly also many other interesting new pieces of data about biomarkers. Thank you very much.